Hello Bookaholics, welcome back to my channel. This is Angela, your own Bookaholic Brownian. Welcome to all of you if this is your first time here. In this channel I talk about books that I have read, books that I'm reading, books that I am planning to read and all things books. So if you are a bookaholic like me, please do not hesitate from subscribing to my channel and also please like, share and comment. As you can see in the title, today's video is going to be a tag video. I wasn't tagged by anybody to do this. However, I saw Larry from Larry Has Opinions doing this tag and I'm a huge Loki fan. So I thought, why not? And uh, the prompts uh, seem to be very interesting. And I had some books that I wanted to share with you through this tag. So I thought, why not do with this? So here I am doing this tag. So without further ado, let's get into it. Getting into the prompt straight away. Prompt number one, mischief, a book with a mischievous character. Now, I don't know how many of you have heard about this book, read this book, but I have uh, spoken about this book in many videos of mine, mostly some other tag video, but this is a Japanese book um, written by Tetsuko Kuro Yanagi. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. This book is Toto Chan, The Girl by the Window or Girl at the Window. I read the Malayalam version. Malayalam is my mother tongue. You can see here. Can you? Is it clear for you? Okay, this is better. Uh, and it is translated by Anwar Ali. I read this book as a kid multiple times. You know, I have lost count of how many times i've read this book so this book is about a young girl she is very mischievous she is very naughty and she's very unconventional and she's been expelled from many schools um and her mother uh, you know is now desperately you know looking for a school where she can be accepted and then she comes to know about this school which is kind of uh different and takes in children from uh you know who are different basically and uh, she reaches the school of course she gets accepted and uh, uh, the principal who runs the school has very unconventional um out of the box and a very innovative way of teaching children so it's not very textbook syllabus based teaching but it's more of uh, you know exploring the interest of the children and you know trying to observe uh, you know how they behave and teach them uh, based on uh, uh, you know their reactions to certain scenarios and situations and it's a very interesting book I think anybody can read it uh, you know now that I am explaining the book to you you know that you know it's not just for children but even grown-ups can read this and this book was an instant bestseller in Japan back in 1981 when it was released and uh, I forgot to mention that this is kind of an autobiographical um, narration by this author and this author later on this young girl little girl she grew up to be a very famous TV personality in Japan as well so check it out guys it's very interesting prop number two variant one show a book you have more than one version of so this is a very difficult question for me because generally I do not buy multiple versions of the same thing, let it be book or any other material things. <laughs> I'm kind of thrifty. I don't believe in overspending and spending unnecessarily. And, uh, you know, generally buying out of whim. I generally do not do that. Yes, I do fall prey to the capitalistic lure sometimes. <laughs> but I try to rein myself in and try to be very uh, careful about how I spend my money. So, but... Uh, it so happened that uh, you know I had a great copy of uh, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte uh, and um, unfortunately I haven't read, read it yet uh, but yeah so I had this copy it's a nice pretty paperback but then one day I was browsing online and I found this amazing cloth bound copy of the same and I fell in love with it and I thought I will buy it. Uh, it has a nice, you know, 
marker ribbon here same color green and it has beautiful picture inside and um, it has gold rims i don't know if you can see it maybe now yeah so it was so pretty and nice and it went along with many other uh, cloth bound copies um, that i have hardcover books that i have so i went ahead and bought this so then i decided that i should have the audio version also because i was in a immersion reading spree um, in August, September. <laughs> so I thought that, you know, I want to do uh, Wuthering Heights when I'm reading it. I want to do immersion reading. So I bought the audio version also. Uh, I mean, I bought the audio book version also. So that's the answer to prompt number two. Now, uh, prompt number three, I might have to skip over this because I don't have an answer for this. It's variant two. Show a book series where you have multiple book editions in the series. And I don't have answer to that. So I'm skipping over to prompt number four, which is prune. A book that you recently got rid of or are planning to get rid of. So there are many. Uh, I recently did an unhaul video. If you haven't watched this, I will add the card here so you can go and watch it. And uh, if you want any of those books, please let me know. I can send it over to you. And um, it's essentially free. You just have to pay for the shipping. So the answer to this prompt, something that I want to get rid of, is a book that I really do not enjoy reading, which is uh, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I know it's a fan favorite. There, there is a huge you know, following for this book. But uh, somehow it did not click with me. So I want to um, give this off to somebody, maybe donate to a library or if somebody wants it, I can give it to you. Free of cost, absolutely. So that was prompt number four. Prompt number five, I'm so excited for this. Enchantment, a book that you had under a spell, a book you could not put down. Now, this is something that I'm currently reading. It's a book series which is the Books of Babel series by Josiah Bancroft. I absolutely love this book series. I mean, I have decided that if there is a book that I want to reread, it will be this because, oh my God, there is so much to go back and read and absorb again because there are, I mean, this book is full of beautiful prose. At the same time, an amazing plot, uh, great characters with absolute amazing character arcs i just absolutely love this book series so i think i might reread this book every year and i think i'm gonna do that because uh, i i just can't get enough of this i am halfway through the fall of the uh, babel which is book four of the series which is the last one in the series sadly i wanted bancroft to keep on going you know and churn out like you know another 15 books, I would still read it. That's how much I love this book series. So yeah, that's the book that has got me completely enchanted. Prop number six, Timekeepers. Name a series that has stood the test of time. Bonus point if it's a trilogy. I want to give two answers. One is, of course, A Lot of the Rings. Uh, I am planning to reread it um, in the month of January. Now, I read this book long, long, long time ago. And only, I think, book one and two. And uh, that was when I was in college. So, it was back in 2000s sometime. Yeah, I'm that old. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, so I want to reread and, uh, you know, appreciate the book much more now that I have uh, grown up more and have much uh, better understanding of, uh, you know, literature and books in general, you know. So I want to read it again in January. I'm going to do it along with some others in the Shelf Face server Discord. So if you want to uh, join along with us, please do. I will link the uh, Discord uh, below so you can you guys can join us there that was answer number one answer number two is uh, the millennium series by um, Stieg Larsson now this is the book series uh, based on which the movie the girl with the dragon tattoo was made so I think millennium series I read it like 12 years ago and I, it still st is staying with me it really worked and um, sadly uh, I, I have a very bad book amnesia so I have forgotten major part of the book so i'm gonna reread this next year so that was answer number two for prompt number six timekeepers prompt number seven 
Asgard, a book with royalty or godlike figures. Now, I have to choose a book that I did not finish, it's just a dear enough for me this year. However, it's a very popular book. People just love and adore this book. From Somehow, it didn't work for me. But uh, because I've been watching a lot of reviews of that book recently, uh, especially from some of my favorite booktubers like Brandon from Brandon's Bookshelf, I thought that I should give this a try once again. And so I will do it next year sometime. And I don't know the actual pronunciation of this book. It is Circe. I know that in Greek it is called Kirke. So I'm going to go with Circe maybe because it's more easy to pronounce. So this book is um, has many uh, Greek uh, demigods and um, gods in this book. So I will go with this as my answer for prop number seven. Prop number eight. Daggers, a book that cut you deep and made you emotional. I have given this answer before for some other tag as well. Uh, I think a book that really, really, you know, made me cry is uh, A Thousand Splendid Sons. I mean, I have a recency bias for A Little Life, but I've been giving that answer for so many other prompts uh, and tags. So I thought that maybe I should change it up a little bit. But yeah, I think... Um, a Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hosseini is one of the most heart-wrenching story ever told. I think that everybody should read this. It's a very, it's not that big a book. It's an easy read. Um, but at the same time, it can really, really touch your heart. So if you haven't read that book, guys, please check it out. It wouldn't take much of your time. Just read that book. That was prompt number eight, Daggers. Prompt number nine, Illusion. A book you bought because you thought the cover was pretty, but it ended up being bad. Now, I don't have an answer for this because I don't cover by books, but I want to twist it a little bit and still answer the prompt because I already skipped one question, so I don't want to skip this one too. So the answer, if I can twist the question a little bit, like a book you bought because you thought uh, it was great because of the hype, <laughs> Then that would be uh, Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. Uh, now, um, you know, this is a very popular book, right? Everybody knows about this book. However, um, I <laughs> didn't like this book. There was not much matter. I felt the story was not going anywhere. It was very dry and bland for me. So, yeah, this did not work out for me and I fell for the hype and I bought this and uh, I kind of yeah I didn't like it I was disappointed <laughs> so that was prop number nine illusion and lastly I want to tag some people I want to tag Anita from Anita Gade channel I hope I'm pronouncing her last name correctly apologies if I have butchered it Anita but uh, I thought of you when I was doing this tag and I thought uh, you know this might be interesting one for you to do and uh, secondly I want to tag uh, Kiran from Noob Readers uh, she has a wonderful booktube channel Kiran if you want to do this tag please go ahead and do it so guys that was today's quick tag video I hope you enjoyed it and please do not forget to like share and comment I will be back with another bookish content before you know it Thanks for watching. This is Angela signing off. Bye-bye.